Hey fellow game devers and friends, welcome to a new series where I'll be creating my game. Yep, you heard correct, I'll finally be working on creating my game from scratch, and you're all invited for the ride. These will be short videos that tackle little bits and pieces of my dream game, such as today's video, which we'll be looking at adding the ground. This game revolves around an endless ground for our player to run across while hunting slimes. In order to make the ground go forever, I treat it sort of like a treadmill. Hubert, the main character, will stay in one place, and the ground and background will be the only things moving as Hubert is quote unquote moving. In order to make this effect endless, we will need to start out with two pieces of ground that cover the entire width of our view. At all times, these will both move at the same speed to the left. Once one of the two floors makes it outside of our view, we move that floor and set it so the left edge is at the point of our other floor's right edge. Then we can simply rinse and repeat this forever. All right, let's see how this looks in the code. We have an empty project here and we're gonna make a tiled sprite for our ground. And you can go ahead and design that however you want. And I'm just going to resize this so it actually fits on my screen correctly. And I also wanted to edit the dirt so it's a little larger, so I'll raise the height a bit. Then I'll duplicate this so I have two of the exact same thing. And for the first one, I'm going to stretch it out so it's all the way across the bottom, which is 1280 pixels. Then we'll do the same thing with floor two, except this one's going to start on the right edge of floor one. And we're going to make sure that's also at the same height and also 1280 pixels. Then in our code, we're simply going to move whatever floor gets 1280 pixels to the left of the screen, which means it would no longer be on the screen, to the right edge of the other floor. Then we'll add a force to both floors, which makes them move to the left. And as you can see here, we have an endless moving floor now. And of course, we can do the same thing with our sky. So we'll paste in a new sprite. And make sure we bring that down to a lower Z order than our floor. And we'll do the same with the second one. And of course, in the events, we're gonna wanna do the same events for the sky that we have for the ground, except with a smaller push to the left because things that are further away seem to move slower. And there we have it. That's our endless ground, which sets us up to begin our new game. Thanks for watching. Questions, comments, concerns, throw them down below, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.